A basement of Lapenta. It's WICR. Well, Election Day is finally here. I think for a lot of people, it's a welcome sight. And for even more people, they just cannot wait for this day to be over. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And, you know, I think my my thought about it all along has been we all deserve better. You deserve better. I deserve better. But my faith alone does not rest in Hillary Clinton or in Donald Trump. My faith has always been in you. My faith has always been in you and I, the American people, because even if you want to be cynical, you and I have a destiny to make this country better. And more importantly, we have the ability to make this country better. And again, we we live in such a cynical era now where people really believe their vote doesn't matter or that what difference can I make? But I think what gets lost sometimes is are you going to revolutionary make a revolutional change to the upper uh, echelons to change everything, bring every change that's needed? No. But even with that being said, even the smallest change accomplishes a great deal. And I think sometimes that's where that comes into play. You and I can make the changes that are needed together. If you combine the small changes that one by one we can make individually, all those things tr- dramatically add up. And that's why to me, I think, look, at the end of the uh, end of the night tomorrow morning there's going to be a lot of people who are upset who feel like we've taken a step backwards and then there'll be some people who feel like we are in a better position than we were the day before but i think regardless of that we put too much faith in the in the big ticket candidates we really do what it really does come down to and what the history of this country is written by is the common citizen, like again, you and I, putting our foot forward and doing what needs to be done. The biggest changes can be made when we come together and collectively we accomplish great things. And I think more than anything, what you have to ask yourself is what unique ability do I have and how can I use that? to bring that change if you believe it so much in your heart and you go out there and you try to execute it then don't don't make yourself doubt it for a second that you can't accomplish that very thing because i could give you example after example primarily in the military of people doing just that the history you look at all the people and i've been doing this recently one of my series called this is why we stand you go we go and we look back at history it's some of the biggest accomplishments people have ever made the selflessness the sacrifice and when you go up and down the list and you look at these people these people are from simple backgrounds these are the common citizens of america they're your next door neighbor they're they're the common people who make the biggest impact, and they're the ones whose stories last with us forever. To me, the one that I, that I did recently that always sticks out is Martin Treptow, and Martin Treptow wrote a pledge. He was killed in World War I delivering a message, but basically his pledge was the epitomization of selflessness and sacrifice and, and feeling a sense of duty. But Martin Trepta, like so many people I talk about in that series, they come from a small background. He was working at a barbershop in Cherokee, Iowa. I mean, this is not a guy from a big-name city, from a big-name place, with a big-name job. It's a person who lived a humble life and believed in his sense of duty so much that he was willing to risk everything, and he did pay that ultimate, ultimate price. But again, I think that's exactly who we are. That's the people who really make the biggest difference in American history is the is the common man who believes in something and he goes out there and he and he acts on what he believes. That's really what it does come down to, folks. And again, you know, it's so different today because of the social media driven world that we live in. I mean, you you could you, these these leading up to the election every single day, you could not get away from people voicing their opinions, which is great. Everyone has the right to voice their opinion, but there's a big difference between putting your opinion out there and then acting on that and, and trying to make the change happen that you preach so desperately about and again it's one thing to sit back and and type it but are you going to put what you type into action are you going to you to live 
by those words that you attest to so profoundly on the internet. Again, there's a big difference between the people who just go out there and type it and the people who go out there and act on it. And I think that's one of the biggest things that we need to remember and take into consideration. And look, it is, right now where we stand in time, there's still time. You know, We really won't have an idea, I don't think, from everything that I've been hearing until later in the night, maybe into, into the early hours of the morning. But more than anything, I, I just want people to remember to believe in yourself. You don't need to believe in the candidates. You don't need to believe in the political system. But you do need to believe in yourself, and you need to believe that you can make a difference because if you don't, well, then we're just going to be stuck in a, in a muck. But if you do believe in yourself and you go out there and you act on what you believe in, you can bring a change. It could be small. It could be big. But make no mistake about it. You have the power to make the change in this country. But it's up to you to go out there and make that change. But that is going to do it for this segment, everyone. Thank you for listening. We'll be back throughout the day. It's It really is an amazing one where we might never see an election like this again, but let's hope that in the meantime, people believe in themselves because I think that's what the heart of this election comes down to. It's believing in yourself and believing in the power that you have.